Welcome, everybody, to the best day of the year for Trident University International. I am Dr. Mihaela Tonasescu, and I will be your master of ceremonies for today's commencement exercises. Today is that extraordinary moment for you to be recognized and celebrated for your academic success. We are thrilled that so many of you, your family members, and your friends have joined us from around the world to share and celebrate your accomplishments. This has been a challenging year. Maybe you were in the front lines of the pandemic, in the military, in hospitals, or doing other essential work, or maybe you were home supporting your children's learning while managing your own career in education. Maybe someone got sick. Maybe you lost someone. It has been difficult, and the recovery will require all of us to put what we learned during this year to good use. This is also the time of major technological advances that will require new ways of thinking and leading. We believe you have the tools to contribute in a most significant way to your community and the country's well-being. Class of 2021, family and guests, the Honor Guard will now present the colors to our national anthem. Wherever you may be at this moment, will everyone please rise as you are able. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the like to honor students and faculty who have recently passed away. Our hearts go out to their families and friends. U.S. Navy veteran, and I want to say hoo and I'm so proud of your 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 uh, your achievement. Your journey actually begins here at graduation. So education is power, and when you earn it, no one can take it away from you. Thank you. I want to take a moment to thank our distinguished faculty, 
They are online with us today. Colleagues, thank you for supporting our graduates along their journey. Thank you to our faculty and staff who submitted congratulatory messages to share with you today. The Trident community is here to cheer you on as they have been throughout your journey. Take a look. Hey Trident graduates, congratulations! You did it! Despite all of the challenges that you may have had, personal, professional, emotional, financial, whatever it may be, global pandemic, you adapted and overcame all of them. You persisted and made it here today. I'm thinking about how much all of you have accomplished together, and I'm really so proud. I wish we could have experienced this together in person. Unfortunately, 2020 will be forever remembered as the year of COVID, which forced many of us to work from home, practice social distancing, and finally set an appointment for the life-saving vaccine. There were probably many times along this journey where you didn't know if you could do this. You weren't sure if you could accomplish this, but here you are. Remember this moment. This is the proof that you'll take into the future that you can accomplish anything. I want to take this moment to congratulate you on the completion of your degree. I recognize that several of you have overcome personal challenges here, but you've proven yourself as Trident Strong. It has been a privilege to be in part of your journey the kind of enthusiasm, commitment, and the persistence that so many students have demonstrated are very inspirational. Your success is the most rewarding time for us. We are so happy that we could help you reach your academic goal. And even though we're not there in person, I hope you can feel the enthusiasm that we all share for you. You have succeeded in becoming Trident's tip of the spear through hard work. You did not quit. You accomplished a mission. As an Army vet, I say to our military graduates, Hua! To civilian graduates, yes! I would like to congratulate all of you for your success and hard work. I am sure today will be the first of many proud, successful moments. For you. This is the beginning of a lifetime of learning, so I encourage all of you to consider your next steps with your education, whether it's moving toward a higher degree or helping others achieve their educational goals. Your hard work has not gone unnoticed and you deserve this. Please go on to aspire, believe, and achieve and continue impacting the lives of those around you. Congratulations, Congratulations. class of 2021. You, you did, did it. it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Go try this. Yeah. Graduates, as you challenge yourself to balance education with the demands of family, work, or military obligations, you called upon us to assist you in your academic efforts. You did your part as a student, and we hope that we did our part in supporting you towards degree completion. We are proud of you, and we thank you for being part of our Trident family. Every graduate today embodies the theme of Trident and of this ceremony, aspire, believe, and achieve. Your personal stories remind each of us that with determination to complete our education, we can improve the quality and the prosperity of our lives. I'm now pleased to introduce you to our 2021 graduates who submitted video messages to share with you today. Hi, classmates. I just wanted to say congratulations. Um, what an amazing feeling. You know, not only did we inspire and believe and achieve our dreams, but we did it through a pandemic. And if we can do this through a pandemic, we can do anything. One of the things that I've learned over the years is the importance of personal development. So getting this master's means a lot to me because it is an opportunity to show that I practice what I preach. If you have the willpower to do something, you can do it, you can achieve it once you put your heart, your mind, and soul into it. The reason why I did this it's a long journey of getting my bachelor's science 
and leadership sitting right next to me to let him know how education is very paramount in today's society. At 49, almost 50 years old, I'm getting my degree. I want to show you all that anything is possible at any age. You can do it. There's no stopping you. This degree is a testament to my hard work and my family's sacrifice. Being active duty military, this was done through multiple PCSs, TDYs, deployments, and we finally did it. To my wife and children, I love you and thank you for your continued support. Here at my stay, I had all the support I needed to conquer my education as an active duty service member, as a mom, and even a wife. If I can do it, you can do it. What inspired me to pursue my degree was when my daughter father was killed which allowed me to become a single parent once again. It was the most hard and challenging time in my life. Due to those obstacles, this allowed me to gain strength and motivation to push forward because I know my daughter depend on me. I wanna thank God, I wanna thank my family. I wanna thank my son who isn't here any longer for motivating mom and keeping me going. This is a joyous moment and I'm just glad to be a part of it. If you started your degree and haven't completed it, get back out there and do it. Don't let nothing stand in your way. I didn't graduate high school until nearly 21 years old. My saying was, the time's gonna pass by anyway. What do you wanna have when you get there? I was motivated to earn my bachelor's degree so I could create a better future for my community, my family, as well as myself. This is setting the tone for my family. I've received the first bachelor's degree in my family, and now I have received the first master's degree in my family. This means the world to me. I would encourage anyone to pursue their educational aspirations. No age is too old or too young. Be bold, be adventurous. Obtaining this degree means more to me than just self-development. I did this so I can set the example not only for my soldiers in the Army, but also for my children. What motivates me the most is my four-year-old daughter, my family, my village. They kept me going when times I wanted to give up. My motivation for this degree would have to be my son. For him to see his dad excel on the active, uh, active duty Army side, also you know, being able to achieve my educational goals by receiving this bachelor's degree means so much to me. I decided to start this program while I was pregnant with my now almost eight month old daughter. And I also decided to do this program in the midst of a pandemic and in the middle of a military PCS move across the country. So I definitely had my challenges while completing it. Trident University have lost a lot and this place changed my life. I pray my journey helped those who need encouragement to keep moving forward. Never let the fear of striking out keep you from winning the game. To my husband of 23 years, Chris, and our three beautiful children, Sean, Shane, and Mia, we finally did it. It takes tenacity to get out of your comfort zone. Fellow graduates, be inspired. Always remember, not even a pandemic could have stopped us. Congratulations, and here's to us. One of Trident's proud traditions is the President's Coin, which is uniquely designed for and awarded to the graduates who participate in that year's commencement ceremony. Continuing that tradition, each graduate who registered to participate in this virtual ceremony will receive the President's Coin by mail. Another Trident tradition is recognizing our Trident Triples. A triple is an exceptional alum who has earned three or more degrees at Trident. When we move into the conferral portion of the program, you'll see the seal displayed here on a number of graduate slides. The seal indicates that they join our prestigious Trident Triple Alumni Group. Today is that wonderful and unique moment for all our doctoral graduates to be recognized for the pinnacle of achievement in their academic careers. Doctoral work requires considerable commitment and effort. It also requires strong collaboration between the student and their doctoral committee. We know how demanding this journey was and you reached a successful outcome. 
Pending the completion of all requirements and verification of all official documents, the following graduates have been recommended to receive the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Business Administration, or Doctor of Education by Trident's Faculty and Administration. Dr. Briney Dice Johnson, Sr. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Natalia Aknemer. Recognizing and adapting to organizational behaviors and misbehaviors in the U.S. Navy. Dr. Chadwick Sintail McGuire. Doctoral Chair, Dr. John McGrain. The impact of the Air Force's organizational structure on the retention rate of Air Force officers. Dr. Chelsea and Marie Mosley. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Christopher Linsky. Understanding how to improve marketing strategies based on consumer behavior toward local organic markets in Florida. Dr. Corbin Smith. Doctoral Chair, Dr. George Deliero. Balancing Mission and Commerce, a narrative of nonprofit organization, Civic Works Inc. Dr. Danielle Marie Mancias. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Angie Cox. Improving Employee Engagement, Recruitment, and Retention. A case study of Stuttgart Morale, Welfare, and Recreation. Dr. David Wheeler. Doctoral Chair, Dr. John McGrain. Using Electronic Health Records, EHR, to reduce documentation and medication errors in private duty nursing agencies. Dr. Jackie Beard. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Christopher Linsky. Ensuring cultural sensitivity of travel agency social media marketing strategies toward African Americans, a case study. Dr. Catherine K. Leek Wood. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Natalia Aknemer. Strategic Leadership Alignment and Sustainable Business Process Innovation, a case study. Dr. Katie Joseph, Doctoral Chair, Dr. Trent Salvaggio, Trends in Online Higher Education Student Satisfaction, a qualitative thematic approach to student service quality improvement. Dr. Linda Ray Loganan, Doctoral Chair, Dr. Christopher Linsky, Leadership and the Generational Turnover Intention. Dr. Mandy Lee O'Neill. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Angie Cox. IS Mechanisms and Organizational Performance Mediated Through IS Management. Dr. Maria Catherine Helmke. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Angie Cox. The impact generational categories have on the views of employee benefits from ABC Clinic. Dr. Maurice Daniel Nolay. Doctoral Chair, Dr. John McGrain. Government project overruns from the user's perspective. Dr. Melvin Jones, Jr. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Angie Cox. An examination of the diversity impact of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's use of the Department of Commerce Senior Executive Service Candidate Development Program. Dr. Monica Denise Beasley. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Gary Covella. Qualitative study 
on improving the effectiveness of homeless services in Vermilion County, Illinois. Dr. Nicole L. Robertson, Doctoral Chair, Dr. Christopher Linsky. A qualitative study on business operational sustainability of small businesses within the nail salon industry. Dr. Patricia Yvonne Anderson. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Trent Salvaggio. A mixed method study on high attrition rates in government contracting organizations. Dr. Robert Mitchell Galeno. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Gary Covella. Employee Retention in U.S. Insurance Marketplace. Dr. Robert Oliver Nicholson. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Chad Lunsford. A case study exploring the motivation of acquisitions, logistics, and technology, ALNT, non-commissioned officers in the Army Contracting Command. Dr. Ryan A. Durbin. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Angie Cox. Recruitment Strategies for Hiring Female and Minority Police Recruits. A case study of the Washington State Patrol. Dr. Sylvester S. L. House, Jr. Doctoral Chair, Dr. George Deliero. A qualitative examination of workplace bullying. Dr. Tamara Latrice Sorel. Doctoral Chair, Dr. George Deliero. A case study on how the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic had on instructional practices and daily K-12 school operations. Dr. Tyrone Anthony McDougald. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Angie Cox. Proposed manpower cuts at United States Air Force military treatment facilities. Concerns and solutions. Dr. Allen R. Quavey. Doctoral Chair, Dr. James Hodges. The Impact of the Self-Fulfilling Prophecy in Technical Training. Dr. Bernard Randolph Brown. Doctoral Chair, Dr. James Hodges. The Impact of Leadership Styles of Mid-Level Supervisors on Job Satisfaction of Correction Officers. Dr. Cynthia Leslie Krupa. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Allison Deegan. Gender Equality in Higher Education, Faculty Perspectives. Dr. Danielle Nicole Knox. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Michael Weselick. Teacher Retention. Reasons teachers stay with the same school beyond five years. Dr. Frank August Von Hyland. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Michael Weselick. An evaluation of the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the training and education of Air Force Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance, ISR Airmen. Dr. Genevieve Joan Cromer. Doctoral Chair, Dr. Pamela Wilson. How can teacher training maintain rigor and increase resilience beyond COVID-19? Dr. Geirmlein.